assalamu alaikum now today we will learn how to create a new workbook a new workbook can be created every time whenever you start writing new data follow these steps to create a new workbook click on the file tab this is a file tab click it okay these are the options here now click on the new button this is the new then click on blank workbook in the templates list this one you have to click it just okay it has been selected now you can see and then click on create create button is here create okay like this the new workbook file will open and you can start adding your own data now you can also press control n to create a new workbook changing the active cell whenever you open a new worksheet first cell is shown as the active cell and you can change the active cell within the worksheet as per requirement now the active cell displays a thick border you can see the thick border here okay and the cell reference identify this is the cell reference okay which is also called a name box also a cell reference identifies the location of each cell in a worksheet and consists of a column letter followed by a row number okay for example a1 this is a and this is 1 now click on the cell you want to make active as i have clicked it here a2 you can change the cell reference also okay for example i click here it is d7 you can see here d is highlighted here and 7 is here d7 okay now entering data in the worksheet how do you enter the data in a worksheet in a worksheet you can enter data in the form of numbers or text by just clicking on the cell and begin typing see where click on the cell where you want to enter data then type the data for example here i have clicked it and wrote written here seal then to enter the data and move down one cell press enter key from the keyboard okay enter cell it moves to the next cell you can also press arrow keys from the keyboard to enter the data and move one cell in any direction repeat the steps 1 and 2 until you finish entering all your data now you can uh, like you have written here seal sale of anything you want to make the whole data of your purchasing and sale selling of things so you can move like this and like here you can see i'll share with you see i've written sale here okay see i have written sale here okay and then i have written here january february march in january february march how much was the sale here like for example i have written here i have to enter the data in the next cell i will press enter and write the amount here like 60000 and i will select this cell or select the particular cell and write 90000 okay this is how we do the work by entering the data in the worksheet okay now uh, how can we save the worksheet which in which we have entered the data okay so you can save your workbook into the memory of the computer so that it can be used or edited in the future now click on the file tab okay a backstage view will appear see okay then click on save or save as button save or save as button you can also click the save button on the quick access toolbar save to save the file also okay this was the quick access toolbar i'll show you you can also click this also it is also saying save okay then what you have to do click on these area to nav navigate to the folder in which you want to save the file and click on the file name text box and type the name for the file okay now what you will do here save as okay it will ask you to where you have to save it in your computer 
okay see now for example i have to save it here in the documents okay i'll make a folder here also new folder okay this is written here book 1 okay new folder let me rename the new folder okay folder will be excel or data you can write data of purchase okay then you will click this this opens okay then you have to save here you can write sale objects objects for sale okay and then you can save it also and uh, you can say file name i've changed and then you will write as object for sale and save okay now as you have saved it you can see here the name of the this uh, file has been changed from book 1 to objects for sale now how to open an exact uh, existing file already existing file so what we will do we'll go here on we will open up that folder where this these files are okay and we can also just click like this here just select and there's a option of open here okay it is asking you to open up in microsoft excel you just open it okay you will open it and it's open here okay and you can see the name of that Uh, file in the title bar which excel bin, uh, file has been opened okay viewing more than one workbook simultaneously in excel you can view two or more worksheets simultaneously when which which can help you compare data between two workbooks okay you have to open up two or one two or more workbooks so how can you open you will go on the view tab okay in the view tab you will click arrange all this one okay arrange all then there is see this is the option you will get tiled horizontal vertical cascade okay click on any radio button option okay tiled okay tiled you can see it tiled then horizontal okay horizontal then is vertical vertical then is cascade on top of the other see i can drag this here i can move anywhere okay now how can we close a workbook closing a workbook a workbook can be closed after completing the work on it closing the workbook will not cause an exit from the ms excel but only the current workbook will be closed to close a workbook you will go on the file tab and the file tab when you see here it is saying it close see you can see at the screen the workbook has been closed okay exiting from the excel how can you exit from the excel tab excel click on the file tab okay then there's a option here exit okay click on exit 